Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Tron Bianchal Let's Play. We continue for episode 16 from turn 69 in the spring season of 204. So, we kind of wrapped up our wars. Uh, in terms of diplomacy, you can see the Odai is our only target. He's quite easy to beat. Uh, he has a big army at the port. It's not very advanced. Actually, that's an understatement. It's just not very advanced at all. There should be a decent garrison here. Yep, we'll try to beat them up with this force that has explosive shots and uh, those firebombs. Then we're going to be sorting out our armies as we're still moving many of them into their position. We're headed west. Maton has declared war on us. We don't have vision of him, which is why he's not glowing red. And we're interested in joining a war against Domin to rescue the Emperor. We want to hold the Emperor. Eventually, I think the goal is to usurp. We did plenty of restore campaigns, and I think it's time to try something different. We don't have that much money, uh, which is a big issue. We have many forces that require a buildup. We also want to go to war with Liu Dai. We want to take his land. He's no longer a trade partner. We switched to Kunro. So it's already any troop here. We need new units for Shenpei as well. So those are all things we're going to do in the next few turns. I know I have a bunch of gold items from different spying event, including Yuan Yao, who we're going to grab back since he does have the Heavenly Fire Horse after we killed his father with him. So first things first, we know we have a big corruption issue, and it's a huge drain on our economy. So that's one way to improve our economy, just by grabbing something like the officer relocation. There is a bit of satisfaction hit to it, which I'm a little concerned about. There's also things like coin minting, causes temporary social turmoil. What? That's new. And also, supposedly, base game is 8%, I believe. That's also changed. I mean... If this gave inflation, it would make sense. But they're tying a lot of the corruption reduction to... Satisfaction... And I'm guessing public order? Don't know. Maybe a lot of rebellions temporarily. I wonder how this triggers. But we're going to stay away from that for now. Because I, I don't really want trouble. Um, what else can we do? We can do the higher tier state workshop. Which I guess would be another way for us to reduce that corruption reduction. As you can see here. Tier 4, tier 5. So that could be a way we can do it. That might be the best way to do it. Hmm. We also could use some uh, campaign movement range. But income first. We'll grab the corruption reduction from that. All right, that part is done. That army has moved. We have about 4K to spend. Let's see if we can get some economy boost through this. That's good. We should re-roll for that. They're offering us one here that we don't need, because he ran away. So a quick delegate fight here first. Well, actually, we don't want to take medium casualty, so a quick fight here first, and then we wouldn't get the siege bonus for him, because that one only triggers when you're in foreign land without something that you can use to siege. Yeah, all these armies need a little bit of unit recruitment and whatnot. Oh, I mean, this army even have siege weapons. Mm, that's kind of weird. Invisible cavalrys flanking off the side. Oh, 
I can go in there and cause some terror. Oh, they actually spotted us? Oh, maybe farmers? I'm guessing farmers. Probably bumped into some farmers. It's okay, we'll get invisible soon again. I mean, Terra doesn't trigger until they're low morale, so I just have to. Wow, those tribuches are so inaccurate. Alright, got ourselves a target. Let's go, go, go. We'll herd them the other way. Keep going. Ooh. They condensed them right next to... Hold on. Pretty sure we can chase them out. So many spears, though. We don't want to be engaged in those spears. while oh, they're shooting us. Come this way. Come this way. Why did he shield wall that direction? What? What? Pull back. Actually, we're just going to do that. Kill him off. Dive into that. Mm, trying to find gaps in these spears is a little difficult. Send them out. Alright, got this group. Got this group. How did they collide into that? We're gonna need this spear unit to engage someone. Should be a rear charge. Yep. Good. Break. Fight someone. Rear charge this. Our cavalry's are going to take a bunch of damage because fighting spears can't do too much about it. We're just waiting for army loss so we don't have to fight the last couple of spears. Pretty sure we'll get there soon. Let's peel this off. We haven't routed them, but I don't want to get engaged on by this group. We might not peel off very easily there. Oh well. Come back and fight then. We can't get out of it. Let's see if I can aim this. Hmm, probably not. It's very hard to hit them under this little curve. Here. Power it up. not do anything crazy. We just need one of them to kind of break, I guess. 
There we go. Terra kicked in. Chain route, finally. That was a bit costly. We have the wrong army comp for this. Mm. We're making this a very cavalry focused army though. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to do these fights. I think we'll use it. We have a lot of lineage. Let's give them some replenishment rate. We'll just focus on the cavalry portion. It's for the whole army, so it makes sense. He's going to get some range options. These are slower, heavily, heavier hitting cavalry. Yeah, we'll just tough it out. Alright, that gave us more food. This is still active. Way is not that important. Hmm, don't like these options. We'll keep doing things until we figure out some better combinations. I'm gonna light this trade port on fire. The only downside is we know once we take this, the small army that they summon. Oh, it's raining. It's okay. These are like oil arrows, I believe, so it should still light up pretty quickly. I wonder if they'll charge out. I want to see when it gets hit by a shot, does it just instantly light up, even in the rain? Yep. Oil arrows. Rain doesn't matter. Oh, willing duelist. Let's go find ourselves that fight. Yeah, I can't help him. We're gonna increase a little bit of the settlement destruction damage as well. Just to lower the morale up to 20 points once we burn the whole thing down. Probably gonna burn about half of it pretty easily. Yeah, plenty of ammo to work with. The only thing is the fire is not going to spread. Right, we're just going to pound the troops. Take a look how we're doing here. We have a gold weapon. What if his high ground is giving him any sort of bonus here? He should get executed soon, though. There we go. Want to thin down their archers. And then we're probably going to crossbow forward and pen down their range and then ultimately use our bombs to finish off their infantry. We should outrange everyone. 
I'm gonna move them up. Oh, they also... Oh, we lit the fire. It absolutely crushed their front line. Wanna kill these groups? Kinda of hard to hit them, though. This is much... better in terms of just density. I'm gonna give them targets. Because we, we only want to kill certain groups. The ranged ones. Which they do have a lot of. to land actual shots. Oh, that one's not bad. Once they reach level 10, it'd be a lot easier. Enter their range first. Gonna assist them. I'm gonna try to break their front line. Alright, fight her. I'll fight off all the choke points where they could send reinforcements. Crush this. And then go in after. We're gonna die. It's fine. I'll try to shoot down the ones behind. All right, here comes the fire bombs. Oh, 
All right, can you guys keep pulling? You bounce back. All right, we got two inside. That should help. Ooh, that wiped him. Nope, can't charge into us. Army loss? Finally. We're losing a lot of imperial favor. No items. We can't tell, but it feels like this should just be a release for cash. The air. Also release for cash. Hmm. I don't really want to reduce our replenishment. It probably wouldn't hurt us in the long run because we got the bonus from Lineage, but still. He is Administrator. We'll have to boost his income side first. Don't think we need that. Units don't need charge speed. Probably this, just for the experience boost. A bit of cunning, a bit of morale. Doesn't hurt anyone. Alright, we got that down. Any new options? Good, we still have that. Kill one of their characters, pointless. Satisfaction for Yellow Turban, pointless. Zhongshan, not the best choice. Still nothing good there. Try it again, especially this one. Shang Dao, not what we want. P Man's okay. Um, tai Yuan and He Dong be better. I guess Si He is okay too because it's so new. I'm sure we can get Tai Yuan or He Dong eventually. Uh, is P Man our best choice? Probably Sihu is our best choice, just because it's so new. There's a lot of things we can build there. Oh, make Ma Chao unhappy. That is worthwhile. Might as well. I'm assuming we debuff this army. Yep. The one that's probably going to turn around and attack us. We could also try to peace out with them. We don't have to be the faction that destroyed them. It's better to see if we can extract as much money from them. Probably in cash. Because I don't know how many turns they will survive. Right, this is better than wiping them out. So now we're only at war with Ma Teng, I believe. And we don't have to rush the recruitment of this army. He's technically safe. We want to smash Dong Min when he's on the field and maybe try to capture Zhang Liao as well. Well, 
take Hangul Path and effectively trap these two armies in between us. And then we'll wipe them out first. We should have a military axe. Yes, we do. So we can walk through their land. They canceled everything with us, so we might be just invading them. This is the army that needs to be set up first. We'll be switching weapons. We'll give our favored son our sword. And then we'll be using our dear friend's Hal's Hal's sword. We'll grab a horse from him. Are there anyone else we want from this faction? That is the question. We could try to discredit everyone so that everyone leaves. All right, we got a new spy in Tsao faction, but I don't know what to do with it. So she's going to leave and return. I can make him leave too. I can make everyone else drop by another 10. Can we get another spy from them? Ah, there we go. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to empty out their faction. And then we're going to make him talk. The thing is, once they do return, they carry that debuff on our faction. We might have a bit of a satisfaction issue. Drop her to seven. We can drop him to zero. It's another way for him to maybe come to us. MTU character was the Grand Commandant for Yuan Shu for a while. Zhang Xun wasn't that useful, but it wasn't really his fault. It wasn't given the best hand to play with. Right, so the items I think are sorted. We'll get the Heavenly fire horse for us. That will move our armor up really high. We have 70 right now. That horse I think gives 20 in the base game. I don't know if that's still the same. Oh, we could also keep building up our economy. We can check. Oh, it doesn't give armor anymore. Oh, that's red hair. Oh, my bad. I thought it was heavenly fire for some reason. I mean, great horse. Great horse. Yeah, we, we're get, we'll get a lot of items from them. All right, so Pingman got the bonus. We have access to these now. We really should build them. Because right now, we're not giving adjacent. Adjacent stacking is what we have to rely on. So, like, where is, like, our most central location to give the most adjacency bonus? And then we're poor. Hmm, could we... Oh, we are not increasing it. That's an event-based one. Okay, I think we'll skip the military buildup. And just spend the money on buildings first. Oh, she has nothing. Oh, we'll take that weapon. That's the rebel. He might actually be useful because he has the full tree, even though he's not going to be great for armies. I think he's going to be a good assignment character for us to use. Because he has access to everything. Uh, where do we want corruption reduction? Probably Hedong. So that we can get more income. And we know they're not spies. We saw that they were willing to spy for us. Hmm. Dou Fu from the Dou clan. Pretty powerful back in the day. Had a Grand Commandant. Had a Regent. Not so impressive now, and he's got great art, but no armor. I think we'll fire him. Not exactly short on champion uh, vanguards. Yeah, I think she's coming back. 
and we'll figure out what to do. Li Dian's actions are going to be also pretty interesting. We do have a mistrust, but we were targeting Talpi. Unfortunately, Talpi, you know, got promoted, so I don't know what we can do with him. Feels like we should just actually fire him. Like a disown. He doesn't have items. He's not... Oh, they don't own enough land for us to even get a steal there. Rather have this position open to see what we can grab from other factions. And that's pretty much it. A little diplomacy check. Yeah, unfortunately we're about to go to war with them. Oh, one more turn. One more turn for the food. Now, creating Liu Bei as a vassal, definitely something we are interested in, and like we could do it. I, I I would want to absorb them, right? Naturally, we can. He has a lot of good characters, but at this ratio, we would need a better army because I I don't think we have enough to push this deal through. Right, 2.5 is about as efficient as that's going to get. Let's let's say we give him four silver tier items, which is pretty high already. And then technically we could give him 15 point of cash promise because we will absorb them pretty much right after and then we'll just be untrustworthy the entire game. It's still not enough. Give him some cash. Hmm, I don't know. I also kind of want to fight him. So, kind of torn. I think we'll just save money for all the corruption reduction buildings that we got. Instead of trying to upgrade these things. Yeah, that's going to make the most material impact for the campaign. And we're not in a terrible rush. Uh, give him independence or fight Cao Cao's faction, who has an army right next to us. Who has three armies next to us. Goodbye, Coral. So we lost our trade deal, I believe. Or well, maybe not. Independence might not mean war. We might still have the trade deal. We're just not his liege anymore. Uh, reject? I mean, it's a nice offer, son, but you know I own you. Alright, are we still trading with them? Yes, we are. Yeah, so that, that's exactly what we want. We don't really want to be in his war. We'll just be trading with him. There we go. Now I think we got all the MTU characters from his faction. Zhang Xun left. Yan Xiang's ours. Zheng Lan, we saw her already. We don't care. Yuan Yang. Yeah, so we got everyone. We can just pull them back now. And we should load up with their items. We want to do it slowly because I'm worried that they're carrying... Oh no, they don't. Well, that's good. There's no effect for our faction. She did not bring anything good to us. But she carries a 5% character salary discount just by having her. Well, that's wonderful. Nothing military, but um, yeah, just that 5 Well, we'll keep her just for a 5% character salary discount. Mm, do we want to marry her to someone? Lady Feng. She does have the fertile trait. He's 37... Not too old for our son. I mean, she was our brother's wife, but um, no one has to know. Oh, Zanba is our other son. Eh. See if you like her. 
oh, she's family. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> okay. I mean, that makes sense. Ah, we don't need grandchildren. They're not going to come in, come of age in time. This is probably the war that I want to start because it's going to be the most lucrative war for us. So we, if we want to spend any sort of money on military, that would be the direction. But at the same time, we need to build as many of these as we can and they cost quite a bit of money. We don't have time to build other things. Let me click Hene, please. There we go. Hmm. We will start this war, I think. We'll sit here instead of sitting here. Oh my god, this pathing is nuts. I want to cross this way. Next turn, next turn. Okay, so technically our, our armies are all in the right places. I kind of want to trail over here. I kind of want to trade this away. It's not a piece of land that we really want to have, but who do we give it to? Oh, what if we give it to Liu Bei as part of the, the vassalage deal? Oh, never mind. It just it just went way up. Huh. Yeah, I could have given it to him and then vassalized him using that point. Because aside from trading with Liu Bei, I don't think any other target makes sense for us. We'll wait till he comes around. He will eventually. Nice. We can still re-sign all the deal with him for a bunch of money. Oh, this drop too. 朋友, he has a lot of food. Huh, do we want Sun Quan? Marriage bait. Kind of interested in this idea, but we would probably want to divorce them right after because we eventually want to snatch up Surin. We would have to give them like an item. Okay, maybe not one so. so uh, we have a. We do. Yeah, we'll snatch Sun Quan here, and we will divorce right away. Yeah, definitely got our money's worth in terms of items. Does he come with any sort of just faction-wide effect? Metal units? He does not have special units? Oh my god, Trom mistreating him as well. A Storm of Swords. 30 seconds of buff, then 30 seconds of fatigue. Huh. It's not bad. But he has to be in a duel. The weight on the shoulders. Also has to be in a duel. But if he's in a duel, then he gives... 
buffs to everyone and everything. So Sun Tzu has to be a duelist? Interesting take, but you're getting divorced the, the second I get cash. Oh, maybe I should just cancel something. I don't want him to, I don't want him to accidentally um, create any pregnancies here and prevent us from getting future marriages. Sun Chun. Divorce. Uh, yeah, it's okay. You can be sad. He should be okay, because he's newly acquired, recently hired. Yep, no problem. I think we messed up this faction enough. We can kind of leave them alone. They have no land. Well, they have a gate pass. Mm, who do we extract first? I guess we can extract him first. Next turn? Sure. Yeah, next turn. Thousand left. We'll move that next turn. We'll declare a war on them next turn. They're moving. They gotta wait. We might need to react. We might need to push this way. I don't know where Domain's army went. Oh, we actually... We're not mustering. We can move. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> our our boys actually doing damage wiping out Dobus former armies our Dodai's official oh he wiped out Dodai's last bit of army we're gonna go of course we always care about the Emperor nothing happened and we have a bit of point 72 sounds good Then come back. <laughs> We're not killing you. Don't worry. I could just take him through a military revolt and take a chunk of this army. But what's the point when we can just extract them? I think we're just going to pull her back. Oh, see, things in our recruitment pool. All right, so ends our spying run. John Soon's also here. Uh, I don't think he's a spy. Yeah, he's not. We chased him out. He's just unwilling to spy. It's fine. So I think we inherited our dear brother's entire faction. Where is uh, Tsiling? Oh, we have him. Right, we hired him already. So we, we got the entire faction. Mm. Pretty good bonus. 15% retinue upkeep discounts once he's prime minister. We'll eventually become emperor and then have access to all that good old bonus. Mountains. Well, that's an interesting one. That's a pretty high melee evasion buff. He's also a duelist. Calm down if not routing. For the other units. So once we have a unit routing... The other not routing units will get evasion boost and morale will calm them down. I mean, it kind of makes sense. He led this uh, coalition, well, not coalition, but they had seven army groups. He was leading it, but I think four of the army groups flipped on them. Basically got tempted by Liu Bu's offer. I'm just going to march. I assume Domen's army went back. Maybe that's not the case. Do you want to sell this to Liu Bei? Oh, it's back. It's back on. It's back on. Come on, this must be worth something. 11 points? Not bad, not bad. We will offer some food. He has plenty, but... Whatever little bit we can get. I'd rather trade armors than weapon. Okay, 
Okay, these are not that very not, not good at all. We can do 15 points through payment. Oh, maybe it turned negative because we were untrustworthy. Right, we can we can make a big promise. Whatever it is. Looks like we're just gonna become untrustworthy, so who cares? I guess they can go over here too, because we're about to break that. The only thing that's gonna be kind of permanent here is the cash, even though we could also break all the deals with the cash. Oh, we don't have enough. Can we give him more land? Because we also will get the land back. Yeah, that way I don't have to give him cash. I don't have to flip around with cash. We can pull back, I guess, one of the items. Not even the food. Yeah, let's just do that and then we'll just absorb him. Ah, uh, he was fighting Gongsun Duel. That's why he's sending his army north. I need to know how many army slots I have. I have eight. Okay, so if Liu Bei has less than eight army, I'll absorb everyone on the field. I don't have... I guess I could get an accurate count of his armies. Uh, we don't have any spy in his faction. Can we get a spy in his faction just to get some info? No, we can't. But there is a... New spy in Tall Tall's faction, even though no one's in that faction anymore. I think we just pull the trigger. It can't be that wild. There might be a couple of stranded armies over here that might cause some bit of problem, but aside from that, I don't think it's going to be an issue. My only concern is if Liu Bei is not on the field with Guan Yu and Zhang Fei, we don't get Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. But it's a gamble anyways. We also could wait till Zhuge Liang spawns. But that's a long time. It's a long time. Uh, actually. Even with the money we're paying him, we're still having a decent income because he's paying us tribute back a little bit. Maybe we hold on to him for a little bit. Wait till Drugo Down spawns 207 ish, and then we'll pick up Drugo Down once he gets summoned, and we can get more accurate info on who's on the field. Yeah, that's probably what we want to do. Meanwhile, we want to upgrade our state workshops. Oh, this really need to upgrade this, but uh, no time for that apparently. Yeah, no time to upgrade the rest. Do we declare on them right now? Oh, actually, we don't, because we had to get this army in first. Yeah, we have to wait. And Domain's army's not there. So let's push forward. As far as we can. I want to join them. Ooh, is that the spy? No. Alright, so I think we're fine army position wise. We're keeping these characters. Open assignment. Ventral <laughs> stuck doing that. That's new. <laughs> do we do we bait another one? Oh, it's 
free. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. This marriage can stay. I, I don't need any anyone else from his family, so... We don't need to pull a divorce. Okay, we have that ability too. I'm trying to see if he still has he still has ceasefire. Oh, it's different. Not immobility anymore, just a slow. Okay, not impressed. I actually will still divorce him in case we want to do something with the Emperor down the line. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, let's continue. No. No autonomy. We should have full vision of Liu Bei after this turn. Then we can kind of assess. Ooh, merchant's coming. Save some money for next turn. Even though I think last time we didn't have enough money for Taiyan, we still got away with it. I don't know if that's still going to be the case. We're not going to risk it because the items are quite good. Right, Liu Bei is invading. Ooh, look at these. He has Guo Si. Two stacks. Three stacks. I mean, I'm going to let them take the Dong Four. Oh, that's a Yellow Turban. Guo Sun Duel is down to one piece of land then? I don't see Liu Bei. Ah, they're on the field, so I could grab all three. Uh, they're not dead or risk of dying, so I don't have to rush it. We'll beef up this army. Ooh. Domin himself with all the goodies. We can't spend too much. Okay, what was our plan? For this kind of forgot i think he does range because he doesn't have a lot of options and he doesn't do range i think we're doing yeah vanguards and then i'm supposed to do frontline units for this group i said like maybe this type For these, we can't afford that. We have to wait till next turn. Uh, there's also a merchant event coming up. I guess we could just defend it with the garrison for now. Sad. I know we're just poor. We are just. But this has to get upgraded. This is delaying our corruption reduction. Who else can do corruption reduction? Ping Yuan. What about Bohai? Let's do Bohai first. Yeah, we're saving that amount. We're not touching that part. We don't need any little base buys. Also, it looks like everyone's here. Thank you, boy. Ah, I'll get my horse finally. He auto equipped it, our horse. Give it back. And they have a lot of good stuff. Now, some of these, I believe, are things we traded to them. So we're just getting it back now. Ooh, a burn general. With extra ammo as well. There's no special troops, a bit unfortunate. Ooh, she also has familial conflict. 
We need to get this one, character salary satisfaction. She has a lot of passive gains. What about our... Uh, not so great. Also familial conflict. Okay. I mean, we're just saving family members at this point. All right, so once again, we just decided to spend the money passively. We'll leave Liu Bei alone. We'll beat Liu Yao up. He did not show up. I'm gonna sign with him again. You can break it again if you want. Our lineage is also overflowing. We're gonna have to spend it. Um, which army group though? All right, if we don't have offensive ambush, we're gonna give it to you. Okay, once they arrive, we can sort of officially declare war next turn, and they have arrived. But we already signed the deal with them, so I don't know when are we going to be able to... I mean, we can walk through their land. It's not a very good walk. Feels like Jolyon went all this way for nothing. We can walk through here. It's a long march. Might as well march through our territory and then just land over here. It's kind of silly, actually. Yeah. Hope we buy something good. No, we'll fight you this turn. Time to save the Emperor. Now I kind of want Liu Bao to die, because if he dies, Liu Bei absorbed his land, and then they're all mine. Where's the merchant event? Where's the merchant event? Oh. Oh. Are we going to get a fight before it's over? We don't have to. MTU. Oh, this is a really good item. Those units are really strong. They didn't. Re oh, they recruit a couple. Look at this charge. Look at these stats. We could flip these armies, let them give them a fight over here and see if we can beat them down. Get a better deal for the peace offer as well. Well, we're going to end things. Uh, we have Liu Bei on the hook. We're waiting for him to inherit Liu Bao's land. We're waiting for him to pick up Zhuge Liang as well as a character. Maybe Pang Tong. Pang Tong usually doesn't spawn for the AI one, so not counting on that, but down will be someone we're looking for. Aside from that, I think Zhao army might actually turn around, given that we might not want to peace out with Maton right away, so maybe we could go attack them here. And then we don't have to waste four more turn walking back. I know we're just turning him left and right, but we need to figure out what we want to do. The war with Domain will start right away. We'll take the pass, and we'll send this army to defend here. 
I think we will flip the duties, let them siege the pass, they will go back and defend. We'll use the double reinforcement range to take the pass together. And then we'll give them a fight, push through the pass here, rescue the Emperor, and see how much land Matung has. Which, looking at the red line, I think Matung has this as well, so we'll just grab these areas. Hansui has been pacified for now, politically. And then we'll eventually swallow up the West, and once we have some more money, we'll start sending this force out as well. Liu Yu is pretty big, and we'll wipe this out. Liu Bei will link up this area for us, hopefully. Looks like his two stacks should be finishing them off. They're at war. Oh no, they're not at war anymore because we pieced out with them. But eventually we'll inherit these two armies and we'll just make the finishing push over here. Shouldn't be very difficult. Down south is a little bit messy, but uh, it's not anything that we should be concerned with. The only thing I'm really concerned about is the over-leveling of these settlements, which is going to be a huge food drain once we do inherit them. Level 9, level 10, level 8. Um, but uh, hopefully we have enough food by that time. So until then...